Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True and welcome to Baldur's Gate, because I've been having a lovely time this last few weeks, diving into the history of Fallout, and Wasteland, and Interplay, and diddly diddly day. But, I feel like I've missed out a very important part of the puzzle, and that is a game that, in many ways, should be considered the sister game to the original Fallout, and that of course is... Baldur's Gate, because the two have an awful lot in common. Both published by Interplay, created at roughly the same time, both very successful and a part of kicking off the boom for RPGs in the late 90s and early noughties. And also games that I feel we owe an awful lot to, because just like the original Fallout was being made by people who would go on to form Black Isle and thus go on to form Obsidian in the long run, Baldur's Gate is the second ever game made by Bioware. Don't worry about that first, it was called Shattered Steel, it was a weird action robot thing, nobody cares. Not even Bioware, in fact the moment they finished it, they basically said, hey, how about we never do anything like that again, and instead make something completely different, like I don't know, some form of hardcore RPG thing. At which point I can only assume someone from Interplay was just passing by the door, nipped inside and said, Sorry, did you just say hardcore RPG? Because, funny coincidence, we just purchased the rights to Dungeons and Dragons. And from that, Baldur's Gate was born and it was very successful. And as a result of that, Bioware started producing more RPGs. So, if it hadn't been for Baldur's Gate, would we have Knights of the Old Republic? Would we have Mass Effect? Would we have Dragon Age? I think we owe an awful flipping lot to this game right here. And I'd say it's about time I gave it a looksy myself. But, um, I may have got a little bit, uh, out of my depth here. The moment you try and start a new game, the game basically slaps your hand away from the controls and says, No, go to the tutorial, you flipping scrub. We've got some ground rules to establish here. And this is a complicated tutorial too. Basically it goes, okay, here's a sword, here's how to equip it, now start swinging it. Okay, here's a wizard, make him learn a spell, now make him memorise it, now make him set me on fire. Okay, that's hurt actually. Here's a cleric, please make her heal me. Thanks, that's much better. Here's a thief, make her detect and then disarm a trap. Now make her open a chest, now make her steal from it, now make her go invisible and lay some traps down. Here's two more characters, we're not even going to tell you what they do, but they're here now and one of them's got a hamster. Now get in the damn basement and sort out my goblin infestation. So there's a lot of stuff in there and it took me about 40 minutes to do, but hopefully I've got the basics down here. So screw it, let's flipping go. And naturally, this being Dungeons and Dragons, the first thing I need to do is create a character. I have no idea what makes a good or bad character, so we're just gonna go with it, alright? So, uh, okay, appearance. Who am I liking the looks of? Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, you, rat lady. Then again, I also do approve of I wanted to go to the costume party as a Viking, but I could only afford the cheapest outfit in the shop. And then there's the girl enjoying the Raven Hell. Now, I've never actually played Dragon Age, but I feel like the final boss really ought to look like that. No, we're sticking with my first love here. We're going for Rat Girl. And why on earth would you ever want to be a human or an elf or an orc or whatever when Gnome is right there? Obviously Gnome, yes. Bonus to intelligence, bonus to locks and traps and dilly dilly dee. Right, okay. I'm feeling maybe Gnome Rogue character. That could work. As fun as illusionist sounds, I think, yeah, magic's a bit complicated in this game, and, uh, yeah, dual skilling, that's probably a terrible idea when I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go for a thief. A thief seems nice and simple. You stay hidden, you get behind someone, you knife them in the back, you don't set off traps, you set your own instead. That's probably good. Okay, there are five subclasses of thief, and to be honest, the other four kind of make thieves seem a little bit, you know, underwhelming. So I could just be a person who, like, you know, steals some stuff, or I could be an assassin, a bounty hunter, a swashbuckler, or a shadow dancer, who can literally use shadow step to step into the shadow plane and move through time and space, which does strike me as better than capable of committing acts of petty theft, yes. You know what? I like the sound of this bounty hunter thing. Seems to be all about setting traps. So rather than just stumbling into endless traps and taking huge amounts of damage, like I have done repeatedly in Fallout 1 and 2, for once, I can be the one laying the traps. Here we go, chaotic good, that's the thing for me. So, I like to think I'm the good person, but also I generally leave chaos and sometimes death behind me. And I don't really respect, you know, laws, property or otherwise. So yeah, that strikes me as workable. Okay, so I think the game has just rolled me a character and a hat. 
Let's see what's going on here. There's minimums and maximums, presumably defined by what class and race and whatever you are. Okay, so uh, strength. Primary of a fighter. Don't need that. Dexterity. Thief. Okay, so I'm gonna have to just take some stuff out to make that a bit better. Yes, I can. Good. Constitution for rangers. Something to do with health. Okay, probably a good idea I've got some of that. Intelligence is mainly about, yeah, majors. Uh, wisdom for priests. Charisma for druids, bards, and paladins. But I wouldn't mind some of that. Because then, after I've robbed the place, I can say sorry. Okay, there are a lot of weapons. Including some I'm not 100% sure what they are. So, uh, okay. I'm a bounty hunter. Which is like a type of thief in this game. So, uh, Dagger strikes me as a very good idea, and maybe should have something in terms of range too. Now, short bow or crossbow? They seem to be very similar, so screw it, I'll go for a short bow. And then all my abilities here. Right, so these are all my abilities as like a thief or whatever. So let's not bother with pickpocketing. Instead, yeah, find traps. I still need to do that. I need to be able to detect traps. That's fine. Maybe I will need to open some locks. Not a bad idea there. Moving silently. Definitely a good idea if I'm being a bounty hunter. Setting traps is... Ah, need that one to be nice and high. Yes. Here we go. Wag that right up to 40. Ooh, and I get to choose my primary colour schemes and everything. Okay, well, obviously, we're going to be wanting hot pink. If you're willing to let everybody see you coming, they're gonna know you're a badass. Oh, I think I found my voice as well. Death will come swiftly over you. Oh, spot on. There we go. Ratty the Fearsome, my female gnome chaotic good bounty hunter. If you actually play Dungeons and Dragons, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. This is probably the worst character. And I'm going to go for normal difficulty, because it's never a good sign when the difficulty settings have things in them you don't actually know what they are. Like, say, in the highest difficulty, the enemies have improved Thacko. I don't know what Thacko is, but I'm pretty sure I don't want the enemies to have much of it. Nestled atop the cliffs that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters. Lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold. That of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. And here we flipping are, and there's me! Oh, I'm lovely and hot picking. Oh, I'm really, really low resolution. Marvellous. Maybe don't zoom in that close. Terrible idea. There we go. Everything looks much better. Okay, not that much. That's beyond the edge of the world. About here. About here is perfect. So, this here is Boulder's Gate, and... Uh, okay, hang on. What did I just say? What must I do? Hmm? I like how I've got the voice of a cackling crone when my first mission is, Hey, go and hang out with your adopted father for a bit. Marvellous. So, I need to get myself some weapons and some armour according to my journal. So, I'm guessing if I check my inventory... Okay, I've got myself a quarterstaff. Not really the sort of weapon I use, so definitely need to go get myself some stuff. Good, good, good. 
So Flidia here wants to find her copy of The History of Hal Ruar, so she's lost it and we need to find it. Okay, keep an eye out for that. Okay, this is all fine, this is all 100% fine. So, uh, yeah, need to actually go and buy supplies, I'm guessing from this shop right here, so don't need to worry about that for now. So, I'm a thief, meaning my primary abilities are, yes indeed, detecting traps and illusions, so, uh, by default... Okay, just do that all the time. Got it. So basically, I'm going to be very good at spotting dangerous things on the ground if there are any. Any chance I can go into? No, I can't go over here. Okay, what about the cow? I've decided I wish to communicate with this cow. And? I'm not allowed to communicate with the cow. Boo! Probably best I do indeed get myself kitted out. So okay, into the keep we go, please. And we need to figure out, yes, you, you look like a shopkeeper to me. Ah, never mind, this is the innkeeper. So I can, if I want to, hire a room, including a basic room, a fancier room, a ludicrous room, and ridiculous room. So probably don't waste a significant part of the money I've just been given by my adopted father. Probably a bad idea. No, no, we're done, actually. We're done. Okay, no shop yet, but this random little fire bead elven hair character here left an identify scroll with Tethtril in the inner grounds. Should be done examining it by now. Could you fetch it for me? Okay, might be some XP or some money in that for me. Also, I believe I have now detected over here, highlighted in red, uh, that there is uh, some form of trap. Okay, so I don't want to open this because... Uh, problems but we have established i am a thief so okay hang on hang on hang on what i need to do is one go invisible and i feel like i'm not that invisible right now possibly too many people could see me to be invisible can i be there we go i feel much more invisible right now well i know it's a trap so if i use my thieving skill here we go can we just deal with this trap right here parties gain some experience good and now Move straight on to... It is still locked. Okay. Well, now that we've untrapped it, now open it up. There we go. And now, now I can help myself to some infravision, some money, and some armor. Except, like, it's a picture of an armor on a scroll. I'm guessing that's a spell. Still, that's a good pile of money. Ah, hang on. There's tabs down here. So you can hire a room... Or you can buy and sell. Okay, now we're getting into the sort of things we need. Any chance, by the way, I can sell you the stuff I've just stolen off you? Because that would be very useful indeed. So, uh, yeah, can't use those. Uh, they're not the right thing for me. I'm not, like, you know, big enough to use a longbow because I'm literally a gnome. But a short bow and a dagger, now that, that's good stuff. And we'll buy ten arrows from a bow as well. Probably could do with some of that. Leather armor. Okay, take that too. Now this is the point where my money would have run out, but fortunately, I've stolen his money. So I can just use some of that. And there's also booze, which leads to uh, rumours by the Luxie of it. Okay, buy myself one fire wine, I suppose. Here we go, I've also just drunk some Arabelle and dry wine, and that has led to a rumour. So okay, don't you actually buy booze, take it over to people. If I just invest the money into the booze, I might just overhear something. It's been really weird these past few months. Iron's been going bad, falling apart almost as if it were rusting for no particular reason. From what I hear, most of this bad iron comes from the mines at Nashgal. Can't trust those Amnium miners, probably some scheme they've come up with. Okay, if we see a place called Nashgal, something's wrong with the mine. Here we go, time to get rid of the cord stuff, because oh blimey. Okay, I think the bow might have come with a giant pile of arrows already, so maybe I didn't need to buy more. But, dagger gets set right there, then bow gets set right there, fine. So I'm allowed to have two quick weapons, possibly different classes would be allowed more. And then I can put, ah, maybe I could have different types of arrows in my quiver. But that'll do for the time being. And I need to give myself some actual... Okay, it's kind of ruining the colour thing I've got going on, but I guess it'll do. Here we go. So now I've got down on the bottom bar my dagger and my thing. And I can go invisible, sneak round the back of people, knife them in the back, then start running away cackling while shooting arrows into them. That's the plan. Anyway, I've got myself some weapons and armour, so next I need to find Gorion wherever he is. And if I can, a book and a scroll. 
Okay, I see how this is. So yeah, we've got a bit of a citadel, just like how the castle looked at the beginning. So uh, this is the outer wall, then it just goes further and further up. Alright, let's just actually explore the town here, see what's going on. If we've got anything we can... Aha, there's things like barrels here. Maybe there's a book inside it? No, but there is mysteriously eight gold. Beautiful. Ooh, I was just exploring the houses, and someone much bigger than me just come up to me and started looking... Very aggressive. You're gory until whelp, aren't you? You match the description. You don't look so dangerous to me. Um, okay. What's what's going on right now? I'll make it my business if I please. Just thought I'd have a look at you for myself before I put a blade down your gullet. Someone seems to think you're trouble. I'm going to use your head as a ticket out of the gutter. I'm just a little street trash hood, they say. I'll show them. Uh-oh. Okay, pause. This is what we do, because how this game works is real time but with pause. Now unfortunately, I don't actually have any, you know, friends, party members, anything of that nature. I was kind of hoping to run into some, so okay. Should we just go? I think we should go. Yeah, how about we just- Oh, he's, he's just following me outside. Please, someone help me. Are there any, like, guards or anything? Oh, I'm faster than him. I seem to be faster than him. That's very good news. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run in a massive circle, slowly getting further and further away. And then eventually what we're going to be able to do is, uh, yeah, screw you, basically. Fire at him. Okay, and go. We totally missed. Okay, but the nice thing about this castle is it's a massive flipping circle. So we can just keep doing this forever. Is no one in any way concerned about the fact that a child is being chased by a murderer right now? No? Nobody? Good? Yeah, you, excuse me, you, you look like the police. Right, take another shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, you messed with the wrong chaotic good gnome, mate. And you were no bloody use whatsoever. Is no one in any way concerned? Excuse me, excuse me, who the cock are you? Lydia left one of her books here again. Oh yeah, that's the biggest concern right now, obviously. But he did just say, in the hay, next to uh, the cow. Ah, this is useful. The reveal details button, same as holding down shift in Fallout. That reveals things I can interact with. So when he says in the hay, he means that this particular bit of hay, right here. Marvellous. So, now, I've got the book. We can turn that off. Let's go hand that over to Flidia. Everyone ignore the corpse in the street, please. Oh, no, 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 no. Did I just attack Flidia? I feel like I've got a weapon out right now, and so does she. Are we attacking Flidia? I really hope we're not attacking Flidia right now. So, my book, you remind me of Gorion when you grin like that. Please take this gem of mine. Maybe he'll give you a little something for it. Okay, now, now don't attack her. Do we have that? I want to be speaking to. Yes, good. Speaking to. That's good. So, now I've got myself something else. A precious gem. Beautiful. Okay, continuing to look see around here. Inside the actual guard's house, this guy wants some crossbow bolts. Not normal arrows. Uh, crossbow bolts. Okay, I can make a bit of a profit doing some of that. Because he's currently a bit hungover. I'm willing to do that, alright. This is an RPG, this is my starting village. It's probably going to get burnt down in about 10 minutes. So before that happens, I may as well do all the mini quests, especially as, uh, yeah, right now I've only got 9 hit points. Which feels like not many. Okay, there's crossbow bolts here, but... I don't know how many he wants, hang on. You know what, I'll just buy one bundle of 20, that'll be fine. Here you go, good sir. I have brought you some arrows. Here you are, you little money grubber. Put a few gold in your purse. Absolutely marvellous. So he gave me a lousy 10 gold for running his errand. While I'm actually in here, by any chance, giving you guys at all, you guys paying attention. I mean, he's literally called a watcher, which makes me think his job is to uh, keep an eye on me to make sure I don't, but then again, hang on. Go invisible. Okay. Now, oh. Can we... Can we... Ah, locked. I feel like this is dangerous. Attempting to rob the flipping local police force. Bad idea. That's the building with the guy who murdered me. So continue round through the town. You're just a tutor, aren't you? Yes, there's a bunch of tutors. Oh, uh-oh. 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 Who the flip are you? Do you want to murder me by any chance? And... 
Soon be gone, will ye? I, Gorin, asked me to teach your wit about the finer arts of mass combat afore ye leave. Okay, you're coming at me with a stick in the good way. Got it. So I've now got a party, and uh, straight away, I want to pause. Because anytime I want to, I can just basically, yeah, pause, uh, go over to any individual companion, uh, figure out what their special things are, choose to use their special abilities, diddly diddly d. Again, this was the first time Bioware had made a game like this, so uh, this is in many ways the ancestor of uh, Knights of the Old Republic, Dragon Age Origins, Mass Effect, all of it. This was a system they really liked real time with porting because they kept using it for decades to come. So yeah, really cool to see it in its first ever Bioware iteration. Very, very nice indeed. So, who have we got here? I don't know, but you, I'm guessing you are good at smashing things with a big old axe. So you, go and attack you. You look like you're good with a sword too. So you, go and attack this one. However, you two, I'm guessing you are more about the magic. Lovely. So, Cast a spell. What have we got here? Magic missile, alternatively, uh, chromatic orb, or burning hands. How about a magic missile for that one right at the back, please? And as for you, uh, what's your deal? Aha, you're a thief just like me. So just basically just go and, yes, yeah, stab one of them that's already being stabbed. And I, meanwhile, will stand at the back and use my bow. Because I really don't have much health. Like, they've all got way more health than me. Now, with those orders all lined up, I now just go into uh, watching all of that. And my team starts tearing these guys apart. I just basically get into position. And, yep, yeah, just give more orders if I want to. Now, just going to start shooting at you. Anytime you're ready. There we go. I assume there's cooldown or action points or initiative or something. And job done. Here we go. Hull, a soldier, has left his sword in his chest in the barracks. I know where the barracks is. Now, need to go and get that on the right-hand side of the barracks. Quick now. Do I have a key by any chance? No, I might need to actually get that one open. So I'm guessing that one is going to be easier to open than the rest of them. Here we go. He said on the right. So this one is... Are you guys going to be mad at me if I open this chest? Because I am doing it because I've been told to do it. So can I go invisible? I can't go invisible. Can you guys see me right now? I'm going to drop a save just in case, all right? And, okay, that's just open. And, and stoked. You know what? I'll take that as payment. Also, that's a good point. This room's presumably now, aha, empty. And that means uh, there's a barrel over there. Can give that a quick loot. And, sadly, nothing. Boo. All right, Hull, here you go. One flipping sword. Beautiful. I thought I asked you to clear the rats out of this building yesterday already. Hop to it, get in there, says Reevor. Ooh, are we going into the basement to fight rats? Is that where that meme comes from? Am I doing literally the original, go in the basement to fight rats? Oh, I probably am as well, that's marvellous. Oh, I've just walked into another house and I thought this one was safe, but someone called Shank has run up to me saying, Oh, goody, goody, I've gone and found ye first. This is not going to end well. For him, I mean. I've got good dodge, because of my... Oh, okay, so... As it turns out, I am a flipping bloody genius at dodging damage and just shanking people. Good! More free daggers. Oh, and his house is full of stuff. Oh, so much stuff. All the flipping stuff. I'll be having one war hammer. And one... No, nothing there, unfortunately. And also whatever's in your chest. Oh, locked, you say? I don't think so. Right, let's go take care of the rats. That's got to be some easy XP right there. And I do have a bow. Oh, bloody hell, there's, there's so many rats. There's so many rats. But do I have actually the cats on my team? The cats are not technically on my team. Take out one rat. Okay, go over to dagger and then stab. Rat is uninjured. And the cats are not helping in the slightest, and swing, swing, keep swinging. Okay, we got this, all right? We got this. Unless, of course, the rat can one-shot me. Okay, this is all very Fallout right here, but I have taken care of the rats. You were no flipping help whatsoever. I'm going to speak... No, I'm not going to speak to you because you're currently out of bounds. I am, however, going to rob the place dry if I can... Ooh, rings. I believe that is every rat, so I will now accept my reward from Reevor. And there we flipping go. Here's five gold pieces. Bet the ring's worth more than that. Marvellous. And that, I believe, is everything in the outer area. 
So, okay, we got ourselves... Oh! We got someone who's actually got, like, a face and a portrait and whatever. By any chance, would you like to join the party? Because uh, I really could do with someone to help me out here. Though, admittedly, I'm doing a surprisingly good job by myself. Apparently, I'm super good at just staying out of the way of blows. Also, I love how this character is about twice as tall as me. My response could be, Leave me be, I have no time to waste on you, child. Aha! I've found Gorion. Okay, don't go over to him just yet, alright? Just check for anybody else, including... What was the name of the guy I was looking for? I was looking for somebody who's got... Ooh! Okay, we've got ourselves some chanters and voices of various compass directions. But sadly, they don't want to speak to me. I'm assuming... There we go! You! You, 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 you! Right, return this scroll to him. Then you must hurry and speak with Gorion. I know about Gorion. I'm just doing everything else first. Right, you! I've got a thing for you. Money and XP, please. And, ooh, allow me to cast a little spell on you. It'll protect you from any evil you might meet tonight. Given my town's probably about to be burnt down by bandits, that could be pretty bloody useful. And go on then, I'm going to buy what I assume is better leather armor, because I can actually afford it. Though I could try and steal it, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, that is all good. Go over to my inventory. Install that, please, and uh, we can just sell that back to him. We didn't spend that much on him. So, that's probably for the better. Decent armor, bow that seems to be good at killing, weapons I'm trained in. Yeah, I think we're in good shape right now. So, I assume I have now done literally every quest going in the starting town. Marvellous, that's precisely how I want it to be. Also, I've got a lovely anti-evil glow going on. Right, Gorion, me and you need to apparently flee due to something something bad iron bandit war before the end of the year diddly diddly day. And go on, are you willing to tell me where we're going? And alas I cannot, I've not actually decided yet. All that's certain is we'll be far safer on the move. Oh I'm so sorry, but you're actually an old man, a helper and or father figure. So you're not making it past the end of this prologue. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. And, oh, we're not going on fort. We're just being, oh, hang on. No, we are going on fort. What did you just do? The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I will explain everything as soon as there is time. All right, so we're going off into the night. Wait. There is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unheard. I am sorry that you feel that way, old man. Ooh, armored antagonist figure. And as it turns out, we're not supposed to be fighting this one. He's going to do what he can, but he's about to be killed. And we're going to be... Yeah. Oh, hang on. Did he manage to make it away? I mean, he's doing all right so far. He's doing a good job. But then, oh, no one left for the armored guy. And I'm guessing that's going to be bad for Gorion. I mean, you did well. You took down most of them. All right, so... He did say, friendly arm in, but Imowen's shown up first, so uh, sorry I followed ya. Never get out of candle keeping, those monks are such a bore. Never any decent coin in their pockets neither. I saw Gorion, I'm so sorry. Kind of figured something bad might happen to you out here. Yeah, what do you know? I accidentally read a letter on his desk the other day. Can't remember exactly what it said, but he might still have it on his body. Anyway, I'm not going to let you wander around out here alone. Never let a friend down. No, ma'am. Stick with you until you say otherwise. I will. Okay, so now I've got a friend who, as I understand it, is, uh, yes, literally a child. And also, hang on. What are your skills and... Okay, so we're both thieves. Great. Absolutely great. So we're both completely identical classes. Well, that's marvellous. And also, you've got no health either. Okay, just so you know, if it comes to it... I will just be tossing you at the enemy so I can get away. Now, the question is, uh, yeah, what's actually on or off the road? And also, which way are we supposed to be going? I mean, there's there's a road here. The problem is, uh, which way should I go along it? Presumably, not this way. Got it. And also, presumably, there's, there's stuff like, you know, 
off the road. Would make sense there'd be stuff off the road too. Maybe some... Oh! Some wild animals. Okay. Guys, everybody, over to your bows and take a shot, please. And... Oh, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. And uh, down he goes. Beautiful. Okay. Some experience coming in. I feel like, yes, as hunters with bows, uh, we can deal with uh, most of what's here. So maybe we'll just go for a bit of... Uh, and explore and oh okay the map is not a perfect square got it just you know keep your eyes open for wait there's there's more path here okay sorry i thought there was wait what there's i thought there was no more path here but there actually is more path here sorry my mistake aha and up here this is where he died so i need to go up there and get the letter sooner or later and i'm guessing from ah the slight different shade of black this is presumably uh, where I actually uh, came from. Or maybe this is just a lovely cliff that we can stand on and admire the view. I don't know. And hello over there. There's something here. West to Candlekeep. Fine, that's just what a sign looks like. Keep an eye out for all. Hello. So you're Chase. There's someone here. Hello there. Right, I was about to tell you not to come any closer. That doesn't seem to work, does it? Well, regardless, I should remain true to the genre. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. Yeah, you heard me. I'll do it too. So don't come any closer again. And also don't try and stop me. Okay, so uh, this is a guy who is uh, maybe threatening to jump off a cliff right now. And uh, please don't do such a thing, whoever you are. I'm sure whoever you are and whatever your life's like, you've got so much to live for. You're right, of course. What a fool I was to think this would solve everything. Okay, this is... Remarkably simple. Right, well, apparently I'm a big damn chaotic hero. Oh, there's a black bear, there's a black bear, there's a black bear. Oh, okay. It's not hostile. Good. Good, good, good. We definitely should not tangle with a bear. Ah, my confusion before was you can't click on an area you've not uncovered yet. You can only click on an area you can physically see. So you can't click over here to automatically go in that direction. Got it. So here we go. Back to the site of the battle and uh, the body. Let's see if we've got ourselves a letter, including a dagger, giant pile of gold, something, and belts. Okay, there's a belt here, and for some reason that's fancy looking. Tell me more about this here belt. Girdles are generally similar to belts. Unlike belts, girdles are not used to hold up pants, but to carry pouches, scabbards, and the like. Can't be used by wizard slayers. That's a very specific class. Okay. Well, apparently I can put on this belt, so that's nice. And the scroll, which is... Oh, blimey, okay. There's a lot of information in this scroll. Hang on. Nothing much aside from information we already know. Go to the inn, pick up those two individuals. It's signed from E, but I don't know who that actually uh, is yet. And various, yeah, vague mumblings about darkness, moving, run, diddly diddly d. Well, copy the note, I suppose. A note has been copied. Oh, that's cute. I don't just get to permanently carry around giant numbers of scrolls. If I actually want to have access to that, I need to actively choose to copy it into my journal. I mean, that's simultaneously incredibly unnecessary, but also kind of amazing. Ah, but of course, the more important thing, he did take down a bunch of them. And that means uh, there's going to be a bunch of, aha, stuff available. And she's got her own inventory, of course. Don't forget that. So she's actually got herself a giant pile of, uh, those are potions of healing. That is uh, oil of speed. Uh, and that is uh, a wand of magic missiles. Well, that's nice. Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. Right, I've been attacked by a wolf. I've been attacked by a wolf. Uh, it's much tougher, much tougher than everything else I've come across so far. I don't actually know where Imoen is right now. No, continue running. Continue. Oh, no, now there's... Okay, um, so I think possibly what's been happening so far is I was just spectacularly lucky. And I should not have been just running around randomly. Okay, grab the stuff. Talk the guy down from throwing himself off the cliff. Then maybe we just head back to the road, uh, find our way to the inn as fast as possible. Because uh, in case we'd forgotten, my team right now is uh, two children. Both of whom are not supposed to be frontline fighters. And who have 15 hit points between them. Which is not much. Oh, hello. We've got someone on the road. Uh, hello, you're named uh, 
Do you want to murder me uh, by any chance? Strange noises through the night, now a plethora of people strolling about the wood. You do look a touch more hospitable than the last two I met though, well met stranger. Okay, so, uh, by any chance, yes, I require some assistance, but... Okay, the two people could be the guys who killed my dad, or they could be the two people I'm looking for. So, uh, give me a description. I doubt these are the ones you seek. They did not seem the friendly type, and are far afield of the inn. If you wish to meet them, I left them not a moment ago just up the road. You'll have to pass them anyway if you wish to go to the friendly arm. Okay, so I'm guessing that's going to be a little bit of a fight. Then again, charisma is a stat, so maybe I can talk him down just to follow the road. Here we go. You two. Should we be friends? Oh, he's already got a flipping knife out. He already be disturbed. Now leave me be. Your company be toil enough as is. Strange place to be wandering. My companion has something to say to you. Okay, go and chat to her in that case. A child wandering the wilderness, surely you must be none too bright to be travelling these roads. And a fine pair of troubles all your own. Indeed, I can offer... Ooh! Well, this is working out better than I expected. Nothing to fear from these simple potions. I'll not even hold you in debt, though your conscience knows otherwise. Ooh. Okay. So, by any chance are those potions going to be... Ooh. Uh-oh. I feel like I've just run into some slavers here. Perhaps as payment, you go with us to Nashgal, a troubled area. We mean to investigate some disturbing rumours surrounding the local mines. Some acquaintances are very concerned about the iron shortage. Okay, by any chance, is the potion actually going to knock me unconscious that I'm going to wake up working in the mine? Because I feel like that's where we're going. Still, at least we know that the mayor is now called Baron Gastkill. Oh, that's a bad guy name. No nice person ever had the surname Gastkill. And maybe I would be willing to join you, but not just yet. Need to go get some reinforcements first, just in case you're going to be dicks. And uh, we've precious little time, but it's best to travel accompanied. And uh, we'll go with you. You always for our time, though. Okay, we've actually got ourselves two companions. Oh, she's only got four hit points. Oh, bloody hell. Right, so, what are you guys... Have we got a third thief on the team? Okay, we do not have an opening for that job role right now. Okay, he's technically a fighter-thief hybrid. So he can also do a bit of fighting, or at least as much as he can get away with, with nine bloody hit points. You, at least, you appear to be useful. You're a... Oh, you're a necromancer. Okay, I can't throw stones. I was a necromancer in Skyrim, but still, I think if I squint, I can just see a bit of an evil facial hair arrangement going on there. So the wizard has one spell at the minute. Larlock's Minor Drain Necromancy. With this spell, the wizard drains the life force from a target, adds it to her own. Yeah, but she's only got four hit points. I think she's going to die in one hit. Okay, we appear to have made it to... There we go. Good, good, good. Right, so, there's Candlekeep. We're on the road. Friendly arm in. There's Beragost. And we don't want to go there. Destination reachable. Ah, we have to go through the forest. Okay, we're all going to travel together to the forest. Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. How did this happen? How? Oh, we're all going to die now. Okay, so, this is good. This is going to be good. Um... Here's the plan. You, my good man, you're the one with the sword. So you are going to go over here and you're going to take out that one. All right. We are going to break in that direction. You, meanwhile, you are going to use your spell on that one. And then me, as the archer, we're going to try and take a shot over to you. And you are going to take a shot over at you. And then we're going to try and run in this direction, okay? And did any of that work? Oh, none of that worked. I feel like we're surrounded right now. Begin running, begin running, begin running. Okay, start running north. Okay, because if we've got them grouped together, they might sort of cluster up on themselves. Can you use your ability, like, again, please? So you take care of you, you take care of you, and yeah, you guys are at the back. Now my archers are at the back. Start shooting over to there. 
Okay, you two should be able to take at least a little bit of damage. And boom, boom. Okay, one of them is down. We have no air of effect, though. And also, I think we've reached... Yeah, we're trapped in the top corner of the map for now. Okay, so... Has anyone actually been hit yet? Not yet. Okay, archers, begin splitting off. Uh, guy who's actually good with a sword... You just basically, yeah, get over there. The problem is my, uh, the wizards. What have you actually got? You do have yourself a dagger right now. And you do have yourself eight hit points. You can't actually do anything else right now. You've used up all of your spells. Okay, well, I guess that means you're also helping out. So, uh, let's see if we can take out one of you. Down to only your last few here. You, go for you. You, go for you. And go... Oh! Okay, you need to start running. You need to start running at this point. You are wounded. And there we go. That's a good hit. That was not a good hit. You are in trouble as well. Okay. Use a potion. Is that, like, instantaneous? I don't know if that's instantaneous. I mean, give it a go. Okay, that's pretty instantaneous. Good. Good, good, good. Continue... Attacking. In fact, actually, uh, focus fire on the wounded ones. You, yeah, just take out the wounded ones. Minimize the amount of DPS. And, oh, balls, balls, balls. Okay, uh, start running. See if you can just lead them. Lead them away. And, oh, what the? There was just a, there was just a big shake. And now you're down on the ground. Okay, um... Why was that? I'm a bit worried by the fact there was just a big shake. And you just keep running. Just lead them around in a circle. My archers will do the work. That's what we need. That's what we flipping need. That's what we need. No, don't, don't run over. You're a flipping. Oh, flip, we did it. Whew. Okay. So that was, that was tricky. Head straight north to the inn. No. Oh. Okay. Where's, where's that? Because that's, that's not Candlekeep or the inn. If that's the inn, it's fancy than I was expecting. What am I even looking at right now? I don't know, but apparently there's some fantastic building. Somewhere. I'm guessing that's Boulder's Gate. And oh, I'm seeing guards. This is good. Is this the friendly arm inn? I mean, I'm going to be honest, I was expecting an inn. This is much bigger than an inn. I've accidentally found a flipping castle. This... I'm not sure this is where I expected to be. What town is this? Welcome to the friendly arm. Okay, apparently this massive ass citadel is just an inn. The world's fanciest, most well-defended inn. And on the way up the stairs to what I assume is the inn bit of the inn, though it looks more like a flipping citadel, what brings you to the friendly arm? Just here to meet some friends. You must be whom I am to meet then. I will take you to your friends, but first I should make sure you are the correct person. Is your name Ratty the Fearsome? Oh, I feel like I'm walking into a flipping trap here. Okay, I'm walking into... Yeah! Okay, so... That was yet another assassination attempt. Good, good, good. Everybody just wail on this person, please. Because it's four versus one. So just give them a damn good stabbing. And they're using... Oh, flip! They're using magic. They're using some form of magic to, to freak me out. Luckily they're... Guys, are you okay? Guys... Okay, so they've actually been affected by panic. Gotcha. So, uh, hopefully that just wears off after a while. There we go. I think they're fine again now. Excellent. Okay, so, into the building and... Okay, before we actually do this, double check I know the names. So, uh, Khalid Jahiri. Alright, look for people called Jalid and Tahiri. Anybody else, simply say, No, I'm sorry, I've no idea what you're talking about. Okay, Nessie, Dawn, Surrey, Welp, various commoners, a, a cook, Bentley Mirrorshade. That's a marvellous name. Aha! I've found Khalid. And Jahiri, yes, we've actually got some people. Hello! We are old friends of your adopted father. He is not with you. No, sorry, bit on the dead side. Your father also wished that Khalid and I would become your guardians if you should ever meet an untimely end. However, you are much older now and the choice of companions should be your own. You are more than welcome to come along, assuming I'm allowed, like, you know, infinite people. I mean, I'm guessing from the side of the bar over here, I'm allowed a few more spaces yet. 
And these guys are telling me to head south. Okay, so you want to go and look at the whole mine situation with the mare and the iron and the diddly diddly d. Fair enough, but like, please tell me you're not level one. And also not thieves. Oh, thank goodness, they've actually got a tiny bit more health. Okay, who are you guys and what's going on? What's your deal? So, uh, fight a druid, though. Okay, you've got a basic quarterstaff. We might want to get you something a bit better than that. Absolutely. And as for you, uh, straight up fighter. And uh, possesses... Okay, possesses a shield. I was about to say there is actually a shield. It's just over here. That's the shield slot. And proper armor. And a helmet. Okay, now you, uh, you are my new best friend, Khalid. Okay, Jahiri, we need to get you a better weapon. So let's just check in with this guy over here. What is it that you're allowed to use? So, uh, yeah, court staff's not so great. Basic spear as well. Okay, she's got some real limitations on what she can use. Got it. I guess we'll buy her a basic spear. That's probably better than a basic quarterstaff. Aha! Uh -huh. Ask it around, we can actually figure out what's going on. So the reason this inn is a massive great citadel is because uh, they found it. The inn was actually the hold of a powerful undead priest of Baal, God of Murder. Ooh, now this is interesting. Named character down here by the name of Dawn. He's got a portrait. He's got a massive sword. He seems to be wearing armor. You, I would like you to join my team. So uh, let's be polite hey, why here. Why would you bother me? Okay. He just said he wanted some uh, ale. So okay, okay, okay. What are we going to do with you? Okay, this hasn't started a mission or anything. It's just adds an entry into my journal. Perhaps we'll meet again under more favorable circumstances. So I'm guessing that means uh, I can't recruit him yet. Okay, so I could also, if I wanted to, uh, stay the night here. But I don't really need to, uh, to be honest. Because, uh, yeah, everyone's at full health. So uh, we're probably pretty much ready to move straight on. Assuming you've actually got yourself set a uh, thing here. Hang on. How does this do? 20 versus 20 to the 20. I think this is better anyway. Ah, small problem though, your spells. Maybe we'll just rest here overnight because I'm not exactly sure how you recharge the spells, so go on. We're not splashing out here, but we've got some money. So at the bare minimum, what we're going to do right now is have a lovely evening right here. And there we go, the spells are now back. But, yeah, very limited usage, got it. Oh, I totally missed there was a giant pile of stuff on the actual um, assassin. Right, including... Ooh, magic missile. Armor, burning hands, a letter. Okay, so all of this feels important, actually, yes. A bounty has been put on the head of Ratty the Fearsome, lasting in Candlekeep, 200 gold. Got it. Now that spell, together with the few that, yeah, Ratty picked up earlier, this character could try and learn. So uh, write down this spell, please. Make some copies uh, over to uh, your spell book. There we go. So let's set Minor Drain and the Magic Missile. Right, what else have we got here before we head out into the world? Now we've got a slightly more impressive party. Well, there is someone called Joya. Have a chat to you. Could I trouble you for a moment? Absolutely. Speak your mind, please. I was robbed blind by some hobgoblins within sight of this very inn's walls. Okay, she wants a ring back. Gladly. And I'm guessing, therefore, she means a literally inside this area. Because, yeah, there's a little bit around here. I'm just looking for some hobgoblins somewhere around here. Yep, there we go. Hobgoblins. Okay, so everyone down south for a second. Pause, pause, pause. So what we're doing now is, obviously, my frontliners are going in. And you are going in too. I'd say this guy's our toughest proposition, so he can handle that by himself. For the time being, you guys, yes, yeah, start laying down some arrow fire. You at the back, meanwhile. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually just get in one magic missile. Because these guys seem to be a little bit on the tougher side. And attack. And then... Okay, you should definitely be, like, you know, falling back at this point, to be honest. You've not got enough health for this business. Keep an eye on everybody's... No! Fall back! Stay back, please. I need to get you, like, a tiny crossbow or something. And... Oh! Who are you going for? You better not be going for... Oh, you're going for my archers. Right, guys. If they're doing that, basically just fall back and... Okay, now 
Now you can start. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Double Archer team. Double Archer team will do the job. Next up, turn your attention over to there, please. And open fire. And down he goes. Okay, the archers are doing the job. They are doing the job nicely. Is that it or is there another one? That might be it. Right. Uh, send in Ratty to scan the corpses. Remember, I'm looking for a ring. And a gem. More stuff I don't need. And I am massively, massively over... Okay, I'm going to need someone to come and collect this stuff. I physically can't move anymore. Aha! So, Jahiri can have a helmet. Perfect. And my fighter thief hybrid also gets a helmet. Good. My front line is looking better than it was. This is marvellous. But no sign of the ring. Couple of dead hobgoblins. Took care of them nice and simple. But still need to find some more. Oh, tiny path over here. By any chances this lead up to, say, I don't know, some form of goblin camp. There we go. We got them. Back off, guys. Back off. Back off. Do not engage until I flip and say so. We got ourselves uh, three goblins here. You uh, open fire with uh, your magic. All right. Obviously, everybody concentrate fire on, like, one of them. You guys, right over there. And my toughest guy, go for him as well. The rest of you two, uh, get over there. Go for this guy. All right. So, I want the frontliners uh, right at the front. And, oh, blimey, if the magic hits, it just slaughters them. Okay. You guys get over here. And, oh, already dead. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping, yeah. Oh, this is good stuff right here. And would someone like to actually, like, you know, hit this guy at some point? You should really not be standing there. Seriously. This is, this is not where you should be standing. Um... Would you like to maybe... Oh, no, you've actually got eight health right now. Because you've been stealing health. So, uh, yeah, everybody just keep going for that guy. And uh, stab him. Job done. And there we go. One ring. Spot on. Now, just take as much as we can back to town. We may as well sell it to the innkeeper if he'll take it. I thank you. This ring was a gift when I set it on my own. Couldn't bear the thought of some smelly old hobgoblin having it. You're a good sort. And I'll say so to anyone that asks. Okay, now that, I'm guessing, is very, very good for my local reputation. Oh, flip me, one of the stones we found was a diamond worth 500 gold. Okay, I'd say we should use some of our newfound wealth on some really nice stuff here. Like, say, for example, yeah, our frontliner with a spear, she can have herself a large shield. And apparently doesn't even actually... Oh, wow, there's some good stuff here. Some proper splint mail. Okay, that seems good as well. We'll be having some of that, sure. So, the game's very clear. The road to the north is closed because of all the trouble with the iron diddly diddly d. So naturally, that means we have to head south. Okay, straight through, no problem here. And that means we can now move straight on to Beragost, which is not actually my destination, but... Oh, hello. Golin Vend. Need directions, you seem like a friendly sort. Thought I'd offer my services as a guide. What do you need from the town of uh, Beragost? Honestly, I'm just kind of passing through, really. But, uh, yeah, just tell me where the nearest inn is, sure. And apparently there's three separate inns. Okay, so this place is uh, a bit on the larger side. Fine, I thought you were just a random encounter I'd run into on the road, but no. Okay, this place is definitely bigger than where we've been before, including doors. So many doors, every little purple rectangle there. That's doors, and uh, that's just one street. There's oh, you. yes, you. I don't see anybody else around here. A little help, please. Hello. Um, who are you, and why are you yelling at random people in the street? Well, it's an RPG. It's kind of just what's done. There's bandits, vicious magic bandits. And they must have gone to advanced bandit school or something. They're trying to capture me. Oh, I don't trust you one bit. But to be honest, I've got a wizard too, so it's fine. My hero. Now, where are the rest of your men hiding? <laughs> I'll be honest. I was betting on you having a legion of soldiers because you'll need it and... Oh, goodness, they're here. I'm guessing that this is actually a trap of some description. Oh, hello. I'm not in control. This is a cutscene of some description. So, you would try to hide from us behind this unfortunate fool. Your cowardice proves as deadly as your reckless magic. Okay. Are we by any chance doing that quest 
in Skyrim where the woman says, you've got to help me, I'm being pursued by assassins. But actually it turns out the assassins are just from another country where she's actually committed a crime and you can actually choose to side with them. We're actually getting a proper quest here that's not just murder people. You're the one trying to capture me and I still don't know what you want, so I'd rather not let it happen. Get out of here before me and my new friends decide to eject a fist into your mouth. You there, stand aside and give me the girl. Surely you won't risk your life for a stranger. Alright, so, I won't let you harm her. By what right do you hunt this woman? Looks like she's with me now. What can you offer to change that? Ooh, I could just sell her. Take her for all I care, no idea who she is. Okay, one seems like the best option to find out more. By my right as a wizard of Fae. We must study her anomalous powers, whether or not she comes willingly. Oh, she's not committed a crime you need to punish her for. You're going to, uh, yeah, do horrible things, aren't you? What anomalous powers are we talking about here? I shouldn't be surprised that one as uneducated as you cannot spot a wild mage when you see one. Her spells cause more harm than good. We must extract her secrets and, of course, prevent her from harming herself or others. I have said enough. Hand her over. Okay. Um... I'm gonna side with her, because then she might join my side and I could do with a new mage. If you wish to die for this wild mageling, so be it. Alright, I think we're gonna be doing this and- oh? Or not? What? What just happened? Where did you go? We can't let her escape. Slaughter them all, and we'll sort this out once we find him. I'm guessing the main wizard's been got rid of, but there was another one. That's that wizard. And are we ready to? Okay. So, 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 so. Now everyone's all out of position because of the wind magic. Got it. Do you have any spells left, by the way? You've got precisely one. Okay. Use it on that guy. You, yeah, my frontliners, get in there. There's three of them and I've got three frontliners. So this actually works pretty bloody well, actually. You, get after you. You, get after you. You, get after you. You guys fall back just for a second, please. Fall back just for a second. Are you actually, uh, I'm not actually in control of you right now. You know, you're not part of my party. Okay, everybody just go nuts. You, run the flip out of there. Archers, uh, open fire on this guy please and just go and open fire and dead almost dead and yeah you can get back in and finish them off please anytime you're ready good okay how's the rest of the team doing you're almost dead you're very almost dead okay um you run just actually fall back in this direction back behind the archers archers provide cover fire please provide cover fire uh you have yeah you've got eight hit points because you drained someone's life so, also, I think he's doing an illusion spell right now. I mean, we do know illusionist is a thing. You seem to be doing fine against that guy. So, just keep on stabbing. And, yeah, you guys are fine for the time being. Open fire, please. Oh, blimey, Hank, does... Did someone just get... Oh, I think someone just got flipping... Oh, no, it was that guy. Okay, one of my guys just got magic missiles, and I'm pretty sure they're dead at this point. Okay, open fire, and keep going. Uh, one more to go. Oh, blimey, heck, that was... What the cock just happened? Are you guys fine? And they're just down on the ground. Okay, open fire, and he's been shot. Um, is this guy okay? He's looking dead to me. I'm going to be honest, if you join me, we'll call it even. Because one of mine is dead, but he was kind of the most useless one I didn't really care about. He was, yeah, the flimsiest of my frontliners. So, if you'd like to join me as a mage, we'll call it even. Okay, so this town is not flipping messing around. There are important buildings uh, all over the flipping shop, together with various streets, various houses, various diddly diddly dees. Uh, right, so uh, I'm guessing at this point I have to uh, find a place for the night, rest up till morning because plenty of people are going to be asleep. Then there's going to be giant piles of people who have, you know, various problems that they can't solve for themselves. But would you believe six people with a combination of both swords and magic would be able to solve? But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think you get the point. This here is the original Baldur's Gate. And uh, what really strikes me about it is uh, 
It's remarkable how some things just don't go out of fashion. Like, you know, the quest structures, the scripts, the way it all fits together, the tone, so much of it. If you just jazzed up the graphics and put this in a game in 2019, I wouldn't blink twice. It would make perfect sense. It just feels like a real evergreen game to me. We might be able to, you know, give this one a bit more playtesting in, in a live stream or something. I'll keep that in mind. It might well show up as an option at some point. Keep your eyes open for that. We shall see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Baldur's Gate. Thank you very much and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.